My name is uh, Tom Bevers. Uh, I am the technical manager here in the Hoogstraat. So my responsibility is the maintenance of all machinery and buildings and also the new uh, machines, so buying in new machines and installing them. RKW Hoogstraat is part of the RKW group since 2014. We are part of the agriculture uh, division together with one uh, uh, site in Germany. We produce here films, polyethylene films of all measures uh, used in the agriculture business. We are specialized in the big measures, so we uh, produce film up to 20 meters. Besides our blown film industries, we also have a recycling plant where we recycle our bad materials from the blown film lines. Uh, and besides that, we buy in uh, waste external and also produce we granulates for them to use in our blown film lines. We run mostly low density polyethylene film coming from industrial waste, also from agriculture waste. Um, we have a certain separation unit afterwards so we can also process dirty materials to a certain level. Um, so we buy mostly, mostly the shredder that processes that material from external. In 2022 we finally uh, buy the Weimar shredder a type uh, W 5.18 shredder. Uh, it's been tested at Weimar with a maximum capacity of 4 tons per hour for our product. So a very nice output. We also had some uh, references here in the neighborhood. Uh, they have also a Weimar shredder and also there we take contact, okay, how good is your Weimar shredder? And they were satisfied. So that was one of the key figures to go further. And we are very familiar with this hydraulic drive. So for us, the most important uh, reason to choose for a shredder was a hydraulic drive. Um, so that's also in, in Weimar, they suggested this, uh, this type with the hydraulic drive. It looks as a very simple machine, not too complex, um, easy to have maintenance with the two laps in front and the, uh, the back. That's also a very important thing for us. In the old shredder, we have to climb in. That's no problem with Weimar. We can put in a few hundred kilograms of material into the shredder directly and the shredder can create a very continuous flow of material. We have two separation steps. The first is a sensor, a separation on based on density. Uh, after that we have a dryer and also a shaking device. We have mixing silos to have a homogeneous mix. And after that we go to a new NGR extruder. So we want to increase our capacity. So we went on the market looking at different suppliers. Uh, and we choose finally for NGR. Um, we were used with a Britas band, uh, band filter, so that was really easy to integrate in the NGR system. Uh, and for us, the price quality was important thing why we went to NGR. Because we have this period processing, it's not useful to have a cutter compactor. A cutter compactor is in, in energy consumption much higher than a simple feeding screw from a silo. And that's also why we choose for the F-Ground of NGR. In the past we had a machine with a very long screw. So the, the, the residence time was very long. And sometimes with certain materials we had some problems with quality. With this NGR, these problems are solved. Uh, the Britas filter also, we went to a lower uh, fineness of the, the, the screen. So now we can deliver better quality regranulates. The two projects of Weimar and NGR went in parallel. Uh, the goal was to increase the quality and the output of our recycling plant. We did increase for sure the, the output of our recycling plant. We had a better quality of regranulates. So this goal was further, for sure made. And now we can go further growing to the future.